Hi, everyone. I'm really excited to be here. Um, so I'm. I'm just going to speak a little bit about myself to begin with, just kind of a background on where I've come from. I worked in government for a couple years. I worked for a national lobby group, went across the country, ate some really great food, but kept looking at the tech community and thinking that there's something here that I really want to get involved in. I've kind of been in and out of tech for a couple years, so I thought, you know what, AI is where I want to be. So seeing the just the way that the Toronto community is embracing and you know creating that great space for this emerging tech, I want to be there. So that brought me to Zoom AI. So, oops. So, what is the problem right now? The enterprise space is usually glacially slow when it comes to adopting new technology. Everyone knows the pain points. It takes maybe five to six different emails to go back and forth to figure out the perfect time and you know, different dates that work for seven different people internally and externally. Basically, you're playing email ping pong every single day trying to figure out a time that works, or all the time spent finding that simple file that you worked on last week through all your connected accounts. We know that those small amounts of time that you spend every single day are accounting to something. They are meaning that you can't spend time getting back to your higher value work, to getting back to you, and getting back to becoming human at work. So we created Zoom AI. Zoom AI is a chat-based productivity tool that lives inside of your favorite chat platform and allows you to offload and automate all of your daily tasks, such as scheduling meetings, generating documents, and searching for files, all within chat. And it's powered by natural language processing and machine learning, all built in-house by our great staff. So, as you can see, we are available on all, uh, all of these chat platforms, anything you can think of, including MS Teams, which we work the best in, and obviously, <laughs> and our two main products are meetings and information. So basically, we can automate, securely automate, your every single day with a click of a button, and it'll act just like a regular assistant, automated assistant, just through chat. So we connect to all of your connected accounts. And so how do we get here? It's been two years, we were founded in 2016, and within those two years, we've covered a lot of ground. Included in that are two successful fundraising uh, rounds uh, amounting to $5.1 million, a successful go-to-market launch with Microsoft US, and some notable awards and pitch competitions. So some of the lessons I'd like to talk about that I've learned through this journey and with my great team as we grow are that, you know, it really all just starts with a good team. Coming from government, everything was quite siloed. I don't think I've ever worked in such a great team, and this is the excitement of working in startup. But also, we have the opportunity as an AI company in Toronto to really set the stage for diversity, to really push forward, and that comes from top down. And I see that every single day with my team and my CEO. And one of the challenges that we've come across, but maybe still haven't solved yet, is how to create, get away from that you know, fear of AI and create that habit change that we need to do to move into using AI every single day. How do we get away from that constant Skynet-esque fear that surrounds AI every, and I'm sure so many of you have come across it. Or also, walking that fine balance between that fear and that whole idea that maybe AI can't do everything yet. So one of my main challenges coming into this job is to not only message the product and share the great possibilities of this productivity tool, but included in that is sharing with people that there shouldn't be fear around this, that this is coming up really fast and it's already here, you're using it. So expect it in your enterprise work environment as well. And so one of, another challenge and solution thing that we found was with working with enterprises. We're just a small startup, and we, one of the things that we really relied heavily on is the great partnerships and working with companies like Microsoft to really bring that credibility home and make, carve out that space. So that's me for today. Thank you very much. <laughs> So that was super fast, thank you. We've got a couple of questions for Anita. We've got one here in the middle. Well, thank you for sharing, Anita. Uh, my question is, as a fellow marketer who's also interested in AI, can you talk about how you transition yourself from working in government to working for an AI company? 
it, it wasn't easy necessarily. I think that it's you have to be open to changing the way that you write, the way you think. And I went from a very PR-oriented role where I was selling more of an idea to a product. But really, it's if you look at how what I explained here, it's it is an idea. It's the idea of cha the idea change that we need to make. So I think that with AI, if you tap into that bigger broader message, that might be the way you get in as a marketer because it is something that's bigger than what it just seems. It's not just a product. It's a thought. It's a change, a shift in how we think as humans across the board. Any more questions? One over here. Yeah. Sure. Can you give me an example of the most complex task that Zoom AI can handle at this point in time? Definitely. So uh, one of our best use cases is we've created a uh, great like knowledge base that lives within the chat platform. So say that you're looking for, we just worked with one of our biggest customers, a consulting giant, a, a global top four global consulting company that basically asked us to download the brain of one of their accountants and help automate and make more intelligent their a system on learning about dividends. So one of the most complex tasks that we can do is help walk an employee through in internal expertise and knowledge that might be residing in one person at this point and put it all through chat. Okay. One more question, final question. Say I'm uh, starting Hang to on. use. Thank you, say I'm starting to use zoom.ai today. How much time would I be saving in a day? In a day, well, you can save an hour uh, with all the back and forth, depending on how many meetings and transactional tra uh, tasks you do, but it's an overall 8% productivity save every single month. Wow. Yeah. Nice, <laughs> thanks. Come and check, oh, and one more thing. Yeah. We are hiring, so come and check out our booth. Yes. We want some great AI talent. Thank you.